and how he, impactful uh, Dryden has been uh, over the course of his two and a half years now with Minnesota State men's hockey, Mike? Well, first of all, you, you, the, the numbers speak for themselves uh, as far as wins, uh, shutouts, uh, goals against, save percentage. And those numbers are irrefutable. Um, but, but I think he brings more than that. Uh, he brings a comfort for our, our club to go out and play uh, uh, free. And what I mean by that is just it, it's – I've had it where, where when you don't have a, a, a commitment – uh, from your group to support the goaltender. Um, if your goaltending is not solid, uh, at times you can play apprehensive. You can be worried once a puck crosses your red line, uh, what's going to happen next. And so he's provided us with the confidence uh, to be able to go out and play. And if we do break down, that he's going to be there to, to back us up. Second or third thing really is, is just the young man. Uh, he's come in, um, when you have a defensive core, when you have a group of forwards that want to play for a, a goaltender the way that our group wants to play for Dryden, he's had to earn that. And not just in his play, but what he does away from the rink, what he does in the weight room, what he does in support of his teammates. And he's been four stars from that standpoint. So he's continuing to grow. Uh, his expectation level of success I don't think waivers in any way, shape, or form, depending on what he did in his last game. He's great at resetting and getting to his basement and starting to build his game again the next day. He's got a great relationship with uh, our goaltending coach. And, you know, he's got a great relationship with our guys in the locker room. So he's somebody that's made an incredible impact on our program, and uh, we hope that can continue. You were talking right in the middle there, I think, before we cut out about Dryden's consistency and, and that being a key to his game here. Well, it has been where he hasn't had a lot of valleys in his game. And if he does, he does a really good job of resetting and getting back to business. Uh, you want a goaltender that's got a short memory. If if it goes in the back of the net, you move on to the next one. And he's done that. And he's got a maturity about his game where he's not out of control whether it's emotionally or whether it's physically while he's playing net. And he just provides a comfort back there for us, a confidence that we have that, um, you know, allows you to go out and play and worry about your own game. Um, in what ways has Dryden improved the most over the course of his time here with the Mavericks? I think physically would be the first thing he's, he, you know, when he, he was playing an awful lot of games in junior hockey. And so, you know, when I talked to Dryden when he first got here, it was, in between games, in between weekends, he'd be given a little bit of time off here and there. And so we needed him to get into better shape once he got here and he's done that. So, excuse me, his progress physically would be number one. And then I think the idea of preparing, you know, in junior hockey, you play so many games, practice habits can slip a little bit and then pre and post competition whether that's a practice or whether that's a game preparing before you go that mentality of what you're doing throughout the game and then what are you doing after the game to help you recover and prepare for the next one uh, so his mental maturity has grown from the time that he, he came in here as a freshman and one thing I appreciate is one nobody puts greater expectations on Dryden McKay than Dryden himself and so uh, he's the one that's picking at his own game before I ever look at it. And so I, I just, he, he, he provides a confidence for our entire club just because of the things that I've just discussed. Dryden's numbers are looming in the all time. Great range uh, at the college level. Fair to say should be considered among the best goalies we've ever seen in college hockey. Well, one thing that I think comes to mind there is facts and, and numbers are facts wins goals against average, save percentage, uh, shutouts, uh, those types of things. Now, I also feel, you know, Dryden and, you know, even for another step, our, our program, our team, you know, when do those wins come? When do they make an impact? Can you get it done at an important time of the year, which is playoff time and, and is at the NCAA time? So um, I think there's still a lot of runway for Dryden to continue to build his book of business before he's done here. And I think numbers stand the test of time. And so now uh, he's, he's still got the opportunity to build on those numbers. 
personality wise, how would you describe him? Um, goalie stereotype, uh, more of an extrovert introvert. How would you describe his personality? Mike? Calm, you know, he's got a calm demeanor about himself. He's again, kind of the way he plays, not a lot of peaks and valleys. He's pretty steady. He's calm waters. Uh, he's somebody that's got a, a unique sense of humor. Uh, he doesn't take himself too seriously. Uh, and he's somebody that the guys like being around. So um, we're just, we're happy to have him, whether we're playing a game or whether we're at practice or whether we're just traveling in between. Uh, he's somebody that we value in a lot of different areas. Um, I'm moving on a little bit to talk about uh, the matter at hand now. Um, talking about uh, this past weekend with Fair State, your impressions of uh, now that you've had the chance to maybe look at the video on those two wins over the Bulldogs, your thoughts on that series. And then what do we have in front of us with this? upcoming game against Bemidji State? Well, I liked, uh, uh, other than than winning two hockey games, I liked part of the process that we went through from, from getting good starts um, or decent starts uh, to not having to play from behind. I, I thought our special teams were good. We gave up a power play goal, um, but we won the special team battle on Friday and Saturday. Um, and then, you know what, uh, Ferris came out and tried to knock us in the in the jaw a little bit on on the second night. Uh, and be real physical and I thought we weathered that storm um, and and for us in, in our league to get a sweep it's 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 hard to do and so um, for us to be able to start the weekend with a win and find a way to finish a weekend with a win was a real positive now uh, we, we did have some guys that uh, you know paid a price for those wins um, and we're you know uh, those are guys that are are mending rather quickly and and moving on. But I thought the weekend was a real good weekend for us from start to finish. Third and fourth lines have had so much success over the last month. What's made those guys click? You know what? Just buying in to what they do well. Uh, you, you know, the first one that comes to my mind uh, up at Lake State, a uh, guy who hadn't played a ton of minutes for us, uh, Morton. You know, Sam comes in and, and you know, you, if you're going to have a good hockey team, I think you got to be strong down the middle. And he'd had some success in junior hockey at playing in the middle of the rink. And so we tried to throw him in there and he ducked the water. He did a great job. Um, threw him in on the power play as our bumper and he produced there. Um, he's still getting his legs underneath him because he had had some time off from college hockey. But I really like how he has are stepped up for us and he's allowed that line to be very effective with or without the puck. The other line you're discussing from the left, you look at Jared Spooner, big kid can move, has played a lot of hockey for us. One of our most productive players here recent, recently, uh, and again, power play, he's starting to kill penalties for us. He's eating up minutes. Brendan Fury is really starting to find his legs after being away from the game for a little bit. And then I think one of our most productive players this last weekend, he was WCHA forward of the, of the week, is Walker Dewar. And all three of those guys are big kids that can possess a puck, take the puck to the net, uh, can play a real heavy game. Uh, and I just think there's somebody that has ignited us at times to allow us to, to put shift after shift after shift together uh, to be able to possess a puck. So those two lines have been very effective for us.